everybody and welcome to a vlog. It's been a hot minute since I have filmed a vlog for you guys. I have absolutely no ideas for podcasts this week so weekend in my life it is. You are currently joining me while I'm about to curl my hair. It's currently probably like 8, 8.30 a.m. on Friday the 11th. I think. And this weekend I have actually a bunch of really fun plans along with a couple little worky bits. I want to share my most recent silent theory haul with you all. Silent theory haul with you all. <laughs> you guys know I absolutely love vlogging. It's my favorite thing ever. It's just, it's hard to pick up the camera and do the damn thing because I feel like my life is so freaking boring. But over the next couple months, things are gonna get crazy. I've got lots of things planned for every single aspect of my life so i'm super excited and i definitely want to make sure that i'm documenting the next like six months i haven't curled my hair the longest time i feel like now that my bangs have grown out like my front fringe that i had i'm just so lazy with my hair now i feel like when you have that front fringe that you have to style every single day it makes you want to style the rest of your hair every single day and now that i don't have it i just don't seem to care to do my hair wow i'm really rhyming today but yeah like i said i have a few plans over the weekend so i kind of feel like if i just you know style it today get it curled at least i'll have somewhat decent hair for the rest of the weekend i won't really have to worry about it once i curl it today so yeah that's what i'm doing um i am hopefully getting a package in the mail today for to nurture your soul which will be the second year hardcover samples which i have been waiting on for the longest freaking time but as i'm filming this today is the last day of the pre-sale on the website so i'm hoping i get these samples in today i can approve them or change bits that need to be changed and then place the big bulk order of all of your hardcovers. If you've been following along on TikTok or Instagram, I've spoken a bit about how my goal was between 20 and 30 copies sold. And I think last night we hit 30, which is insane. This morning I have plans with my one and only friend that I'm still friends with from school. Her name is Brooke. And we have plans this morning to go and get coffee or lunch and go for a little beach walk. So I figured that it would be fun to bring you guys along. I have no idea what beach we're going to. I'm just meeting her at her house and then we're going together. I'm super excited. This weekend should be really, really fun. So let's finish this hair, have some food, and then get into it. <laughs> still need to brush it through <laughs> this side's still a bit warm so i'm gonna leave that for a little bit but i'll brush out this side it is always super crazy when i first brush it out if you guys watch the podcast episodes you hear me talk about it because i always do this right before i film the podcast <laughs> she still needs the time to drop a little i'm also still kind of getting used to myself without the bangs like it's weird it's weird how having a particular hairstyle for a certain amount of years i think it's been like i don't know at least a year maybe two years that i had had the front fringe um and i loved it i think it suits me so much but it's just too high maintenance for me it's too much you literally have to do it every single day and I'm not a do my hair every single day type of gal. I don't know if that's bad, but I'm just not a get up every single day and I have to worry about my hair type of gal. Growing up front fringe, it is no more for the time being, but it's weird. I'm also feeling very, very pale <laughs> today. Um, I didn't put on foundation, so I've just got concealer and like bronzer and like I've pretty much everything except for foundation and the foundation is the thing that gives me like life like color but again i'm just not a foundation everyday type of gal and also we're just going to the beach so 
I didn't want to do anything too crazy with my makeup. I need to put on my jacket. My full outfit today is, of course, Silent Theory. 85 to 90% of my wardrobe now is Silent Theory. I'm so incredibly grateful because their stuff is the best. And I don't know what I'd be doing if it wasn't for Silent Theory over the past couple years. Well, I've just been working for myself, trying to get by, you know. I literally would have no clothes, so I'm so freaking grateful to them. Um, this is a long green jacket. I'm also wearing a white little tank top from them. And also a pair of black cargo pants, which... I'm obsessed with and we're as ready as we can be to be honest although I am starving so let's make some breakfast I'm trying to decide do I want cheese and tomato on toast or do I want truffle marmite which is something that I brought back with me from the UK if you guys live in the UK or if you want to jump on Amazon I highly recommend picking up some truffle marmite it's so freaking good if you like truffle and if you like vegemite i know it sounds like the weirdest combination ever but it is so so good yum this looks so good I feel like you guys have seen me make cheese and tomato on toast so many times now. <laughs> but it's just that good. And I will never, ever, ever get sick of having cheese and tomato on toast like this. This is genuinely making me really happy. <laughs> Nine. And I just finished printing out all of the store orders that, that we got last night. I'm just so blown away by how many people are ordering this hardcover. Like, I, I know the hardcovers do really, really well and I know you guys love them. But with the past few months of sales for the business, I'm not going to lie. I was a little, a little worried, a little concerned for this second year of the hardcover which is exactly why i did a pre-sale i got six orders between 6 p.m last night and 6 a.m when i woke up this morning and just getting to sit down and read all of your beautiful order notes like it it makes my heart so freaking happy you guys know that i appreciate you all so much and you all are the sweetest human beings ever and when i do launches like these ones or whenever you guys leave little order notes like i am constantly reminded of how lucky i am to have a group of just the best people ever following me and my business's journey so i just wanted to take a moment to be grateful and to say thank you if you have placed an order or if you left me an order note over this past week so yeah i i'm just very appreciative i'm very grateful that's that little ramble my camera battery is flashing at me so i'm gonna quickly run through the past month of silent theory goodies that i picked out from their website which i'm super excited about so starting off with jumpers one jumper that i decided to pick up is this quarter zip it's so freaking cute it's like a marble gray color and then it's got silent theory embroidered in white down the sleeve which the quality amazing the little zip on the quarter zip has their little logo as well which i think is so sick it's just like a circle with a line through it it's very cute i enjoy it a lot the next thing that i picked up is another jumper this is a really pretty green color i wore this on not the last episode of the podcast but the one before that so i did quickly mention it in that video i'm obsessed it's so simple so cozy and this is one that i definitely have gotten quite a bit of use out of it's just i don't know it's the perfect at home cozy work 
jumper for me. You guys know with me working from home, I like to be very cozy. I wear like tracky bottoms or tights and a baggy jumper like this. Once again, totally recommend. It's really good quality. The Silent Theory and all the writing on the front is embroidered in white. Embroidery on any clothing to me just makes it so much more luxurious and it makes it feel so much better quality. I'm obsessed. I'm going to be squeezing in as much use of this as I can before the weather starts to get a bit warmer but I'm also heading to the UK in December as a lot of you guys know and I feel like these things will be super useful to me when I'm over there in the middle of freaking winter freezing my butt off so those are the two jumpers that I got then what else did I get? I'm just like looking through my cupboard trying to find all the different bits and pieces. Another thing that I got is this long sleeve bodysuit. I am obsessed with this. I think this has to be one of my favorite pieces out of every single thing that I got. And I also really love the fact that this bodysuit is like... I don't know, the edges of it are not super tight. It's like very, very comfortable. Cause typically I'm not really a bodysuit type of gal, but this one in particular fits really, really well. What else did I get? I got a t-shirt, which I have been absolutely wearing the shit out of. It just looks like this. I've been wearing it with either a black or a white long sleeve underneath. I think it's really cute. Um, I have a similar top to this by Thrills. I have had that Thrills t-shirt for probably like three or four years and the design on the front is literally almost non-existent anymore. Um, and this one gives a very, very similar vibe. So I think it's time to retire the other one and start wearing this one instead, which I have been doing and I have been loving. And then the very last thing that I got is a pair of baggy blue jeans. So this is what they look like. So these are called the Jade Jean. I love these because they're baggy. I don't know. I'm a sucker for the cargo pants, as you guys know. Like I said this morning, I'm wearing the black Silent Theory cargos. These are a similar fit and style to the cargos, but they just don't have all the pockets and stuff. Very, very happy to have these in my life. I am obsessed and once the weather warms up a bit and I can wear these with like a cute little crop top, I think these are going to get a lot of use. So that is my little silent theory haul for the past month. I obviously am so obsessed with every single thing that I got. Um, as always, you guys know these videos are not sponsored by them. Um, none of my content is sponsored by them. They just kindly gift me these pieces and I take photos and create Instagram reels for them and their social media. I just genuinely love them so freaking much that I want to share with you guys because if you haven't tried out their stuff yet, I highly recommend um, I do have a code. It's Lacey15. If you want 15% off anything on their website, I totally recommend. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. It's almost that time for me to message them again and be like, hey, are we doing the thing again this month? I'm excited for their spring stuff too. I'm so excited. They've teased a couple little bits and pieces on their Instagram. And I think the colors this year, I think they're going to be so good. And I am a spring-summer girly. I don't know, winter is very hard for me to dress comfortably because I'm bad at the layering thing. That's probably something that my girlfriend can help me with when I'm in the UK for the winter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. I love spring fashion. I think it's so fun. It's my favorite to wear and style. So yeah, I'm excited to see what they come out with. But that's my little silent theory haul. I'm going to shut up about it now. I'm going to go charge my camera because it's flashing. Um, and then we're going to head out. Gonna... Sample time. Ah! You're going to have to try not to pay attention to the fridge in the background. <laughs> Look, she needs a new fridge. But that's, that's for another day. We have the two-year hardcover samples. So I already know that there is a couple things that I do want to change about them since making this order a little bit ago, which is exactly why we do samples before we go ahead and just order them in bulk. So this is my first looks at the two-year hardcover sample. I am so excited. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> ah, I can't just see it. 
Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my god. I'm looking at the back and it's already so freaking cute. Oh, to be fair, I probably should try and save this bubble wrap too because it will come in handy when I ship all your products out as well. Oh my god. She is gorgeous. Actually, stop. And it's so thick, you guys. <laughs> There's at least an extra 20 pages in this book. Okay. Oh, cute. This is one of the new designs. We've got a test page in the middle or close, somewhat close to the middle. I decided to add a second test page in this one just because it is a bit thicker. Oh, I'm so happy with this. And then the back looks like this. I cannot believe that I created this. Like every single time, it comes around to some exciting products like this. I, I look at it and I'm like, the imposter syndrome is like, me make this? How? <laughs> what? Okay, amazing. Um, I am now going to post a picture of that on Instagram so that you guys can see. But yeah, that was perfect timing. It is now 10 a.m. So I have 15 minutes to post this photo. Ah, oh, what a perfect way to end the week. I... I'm really, really happy with that. It's now 1.30 p.m. and I am pooped. <laughs> Literally so pooped. So we ended up going for a massive walk along the beach, which the legs, they're feeling it. Especially after yesterday, I went to the gym and I did legs at the gym, so she's struggling. The legs are done for today. I've had such a lovely day. I'm not really someone who gets out a whole lot. I am obsessed with my own company and my own home. And I think that that is totally fine. Like, love that for me. So happy in my life like that. But it just reminds me when I do go out and see friends or family or whatever it may be, that I am really lucky to have some really nice people around me. My friend Brooke, who I went to hang out with, I have been friends with her since high school. She is my only friend that I have had since high school. So yeah, it was, it was really nice to just hang out, catch up. I think it's a really, really special thing if you can leave high school and still be friends with certain people that you were friends with then. When you think about it, like we were talking about this today as well, we left high school 10 years ago next year. And that is fucking crazy. And obviously within the span of 10 years, you change a lot. I know, you know, for me in particular, I've changed so much within the past two to three years, let alone the past 10 years. We were talking about this literally. I was like that, I feel like I disassociated for most of high school and I just, it was not me or who I am or was. Like, it's just a very, very weird thing. So to be able to grow and evolve into two completely new people, two completely different people to who we were in high school and still have the same type of friendship as we did during school, like, I don't know. I think that that is a very cool and special thing to have with someone. So yeah, it was really good. We had some lunch. I had the biggest mushroom burger ever so i i'm so full the legs are sore the tummy's full i think the plan for the rest of the afternoon is to watch youtube or continue reading my harry potter book which i need to show you guys because it is a really freaking cool book um me and my partner have decided to read all that harry potter series together when i was over in the uk we actually watched all the films together so i don't know how but harry potter has just kind of like become <laughs> our thing i don't know but yeah i've never really been one to be into harry potter i've never dived into it my sister was obsessed when we were little but i was never i was never the harry potter girly and i've read one chapter only so far but for me if i'm gonna read something like harry potter i'm gonna get it in an aesthetic book version so this is not the original cover art but i think that this is so much cuter so it's got like a purple outer case the back has hedwig 
or some sort of owl. I don't know. I just love the gold detailing on these. I think that it's the most magical, coolest thing ever. And if I'm going to sit down and read Harry Potter, I'm going to do it aesthetically. So this version is obviously a little bit more expensive. I think these sell for £25, which is 50 Australian dollars. I could have got just the original Harry Potter book for like 15 Australian dollars on Amazon, but you know what? I think it's worth it for how beautiful these look and I am super excited to collect all the different books to keep them as something special, to have them on display. I think, I don't know, it's decor just as much as it is a book. So yeah, my afternoon this afternoon is probably going to consist of watching YouTube, reading Harry Potter getting into some comfy clothes. I've got someone coming to pick up the crickets. I've been going through my whole house and trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff that I don't use anymore, both work and just like, you know, personal stuff. I got rid of my heat press the other day, the t-shirts, the tote bags, the pencil cases, they weren't working out for the store. If I see another tote bag, another t-shirt, another pencil case, I might scream. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I I just can't. They don't sell and I've spent way too many hours putting together the ones that I already have. So I got rid of my heat press the other day which was great. It was just collecting dust and I have a girl coming to pick up my Cricut this afternoon which will be good as well because I don't really use the Cricut either you guys. Like the coloring books are the things that are popular on To Nurture Your Soul. I'm trying to stick to doing the things that are popular and, you know, just doing what I know works. I'm now back home. I'm on my phone. The girl came and picked up the cricket. She paid me in cash. So I quickly went to the bank before they closed to put it into my account. And yeah, I think I might have someone now coming to pick up my old keyboard, which is actually so sad. But um, this is she. I've had this thing for literally my whole life. Honestly, probably half of my whole life. I'm not even kidding. I had it did I have it in high school? I think I had it in high school. I used to use it heaps when I was younger. I actually know how to play quite a few things on it, but I just, I just don't have the time anymore. I don't necessarily have the interest. Our attention spans as human beings are just not what they once were. So, I mean, speaking about my own attention span anyway, I do not have the attention span to sit there and try and learn songs on it anymore. So. I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna get it out, I'm gonna get some more money in, um, and that's the plan. I hope they're gonna come because that will free up so much space over here. It'll just free up this corner. It will look so bare in like all the best ways. Everybody. Happy Saturday. So it's Saturday the 12th of August and it's 11.35. I just got home from having a little, a little brunch. I don't know, would you call it brunch? It was more like a morning coffee with my brother and his brand new fiance, which is fucking crazy. So I didn't vlog too much last night, but I was on FaceTime with my girlfriend and all of a sudden I get a text message from my brother of literally just a photo of him and his girlfriend and his girlfriend is like holding her hand up with an engagement ring on it. And I was like, excuse me? He had not told me that he had plans to do this. And I saw him like two weeks ago. I was so shocked. I was like, oh my god. Obviously, very, very excited for them. So we had already had plans this morning to go for coffee because his fiance now, I guess, girlfriend, fiance, I don't know. <laughs> um, but she looked after my house while I went on my UK trip. She watered all my plants and everything. So we had plans this morning to go for coffee because I wanted to thank her for looking after everything. And that's why I got the flowers this morning. I wanted to give them to her just to say thank you. Um, but when I gave them to her, I was like, well, 
this is like a double flowers. A thank you for looking after my plants in my house while I was gone, and a congratulations on getting engaged, because that's fucking crazy. But either way, yeah, it was a really lovely morning. We just had coffee. Me and my brother shared avo on toast. I'm not used to vlogging anymore, so I forgot to take a photo even of the food. We were talking about their engagement and all of the plans that I have coming up for the next six months, which is crazy. Um, I will tell you guys about them all very, very soon. I've just gotten home and I have no plans for the rest of my day. I think... I'm just gonna have like a really nice chill Saturday. I want to tidy a little bit. Lately I have been in the biggest tidying mood and I like my house doesn't need tidying. Like there's a couple things that I could pick up and put away but like there's nothing for me to tidy but I'm in a tidying mood so I don't know. We'll see how I go. I might start to go through like a couple of my office drawers over here like this needs a general tidy and then i might start to go through my office drawers over here and maybe this cupboard here which is full of a bunch of inventory that i have for the store i also need to choose what i'm going to pop in everyone's hardcover orders as like their little freebies because everyone who ordered a hardcover i am popping in just like a little extra a little extra something to say thank you um i have a massive overflow of pencil cases and tote bags so I'm thinking it'll be either one of those. Oh my god, also, I also placed the bulk order for all of the hardcovers this morning, which RIP to the bank account. That was expensive. We ended up selling 33 copies, you guys. 33 copies. That is freaking crazy. Absolutely insane. I... And so blown away. I'm so thankful, so grateful. You all already know. But my goal was between 20 and 30. So the fact that we got 33, I'm just... So, so good. But yeah, I think I'm just going to like putter around the house for a little bit. Tidy. Um, and I'll check in with you guys. If, if anything exciting happens. So I've decided that I am going to try and tackle this shelf here. Ideally, I want to be able to get rid of everything that's on this shelf and sell this whole unit to make all of this disappear. I do not like it. It gives me anxiety looking at it every day. It's just like a constant reminder in my space that I bought way too many things for the show. <laughs> so this is where my overflow of all of the stock from the show is kind of sitting at the moment. So this is looking a little bit better than what it was before before it was jam-packed i have a bunch of tote bags here that i'm going to fold up and put in this long cupboard over here so i'm currently making my way through this and organizing um so i've just put a bunch of pencil cases in this section this is going to be the <laughs> overflow of pencil cases this section here has a bunch of tote bags and then more pencil cases i've literally as you can tell just shoved things wherever they can fit so these are small envelopes which that obviously looks better without them there but there's space there so i'm going to <laughs> have this be their spot for the time being it looks like chaos but i promise that there is a method to the madness